Welcome back to Warwick Dragway, everyone. Here we are, day three of the road trip, absolute lifting and safety road trip drag challenge. So uh, we're about to kick underway and uh, catch up a bit from last night. So uh, we've got the DYO, they're all ready to go. Uh, we're about round four, I think, uh, in the DYO. And then uh, we've got the final, that uh, big boys shootout. So uh, some good action to start the day. We've got a few people already got their spots, ready to watch a bit of the action and uh, the live stream kicking off as well. So uh, welcome to those people in the live stream watching on overtaking lane and uh, those that made their way out to the track will hopefully have a nice smooth day today and all the running will go through. We'll uh, see who can take out the $3,000 in this DYO. It's a pretty massive offering. The DYO challenge, that $3,000 was uh, uh, sponsored by the Quick 60 race cars and components. Pretty impressive. Uh, the Big Boys shootout, if you were watching last night, you would know that they uh, threw $200 each into the hat to uh, take part of that, starting with eight cars. And, uh, and that, that kitty uh, went across into the, uh, the collection drum there for for Kerry, so uh, tremendous effort from those guys and girls. And uh, we'll be getting underway very shortly. See the signal. Mix saying, start them up, boys. So I'll quickly uh, do a test run, check those uh, timing. Or not. No. We're trusting that it's working. <laughs> so, big boys, shoot out. Ryan Moore. Ryan Moore. Lights are up in this uh, blind Gemini. Chris Carlsberg over in the, uh, the far lane. There's about a second difference in between these two cars, but uh, that doesn't mean too much when you get to a final like this. But uh, Chris Carlsberg's very quick on especially drag challenge tracks knows how to send this thing down so get ready he's about to bump it in and Ryan Moore there you go he's gone all the way he'll take that win and uh, get, get himself, uh, well, nothing for the kitty for that one, but he'll get some damn bra good bragging rights. And he will be very stoked with that. So not long had that, Gemini. And to come out and get the win, I think he's going to be uh, pretty excited. So that'll be a conversation between the mates for uh, quite some time. Probably, uh, he'll probably carry it on longer than they want to hear it. As uh, Scooter Marsh lines up against Raul Moore. Raul Moore in that far lane. 
sending it down. Scooter will go through on an 829. And uh, in the far lane, we've got a 705. Back to the DYO. Sorry, that is the win. Thanks, Tyler, reminding me what we're doing. Has been a, a, an early start for me after a late night. So Scooter's out. Won't make it into the fifth round. Bill Martlin. And Ross full of love in the big Chev. Dial in a 770 for the Chev. 675 in the Commodore. See how we go. The win goes through to that Commodore, Bill Martlin. A 690. So, we've got the whole shot. The point two reaction. The point five uh, reaction just wasn't good enough there for Ross. Derek O'Hara. In the Monaro. The 760. Dial in. Craig Nofke, 715. Dial in. The U. And breaks out in the uh, close lane there, Derek O'Hart broke out. Both broke out. Oh, look at that. So the wind still goes through to uh, Craig. Double break out. It's the, uh, the worst losers. Lesser of the two, yes. That's probably the better way to explain it. Another close run here with a 7-0. Dial in over there from Scotty Clibborn and uh, Jai Borg in the, in the big Ford Ute on a 7.35 dial in, so not too much between them. Of course, the big race of the day is the race for Diggles to get here to get this mic off. Him. Scotty's chasing it down. Will he get there? No, he can't quite get there. Joy's got the win. 7.43 on that 7.35 dial in. Steve Smith in the right on Q HQ. Absolute lifting and safety, Steve Smith. Up against Lee Warren. In the Ross Pistons lane. They're going to go across pretty close here. The wind does go to Steve. A 7-2-0. In that big blue HQ. It was uh, Lee was chasing him down. A 6 7 it was a uh, pretty good time, but not good enough today. So let's be close to our last pairing. Gary Green in the big wagon. Michael Osborne on a 7 0 dial in. 658, Gary. But I think he's going to keep it there. Will he stay in his time? And he's broke out. He's run a 6-8 on a 7-0 dial-in. So the wind goes through to Gary Green. Jason Bowers in the Tirana. 
661 dial in. Tony Rogers in the Ford Ute over there with a the 760 dial in. This is close, it's on the line. But he's red lit. Tony, so that win will go through to Jason. So he's pretty stoked. Uh, talking to him last night, he was pretty stoked just to have extra runs. So um, to go through another round, he's going to be pretty happy. But he ran a 6.53. So uh, 105 mile an hour, he's going to be pretty stoked with that run. And he gets to have another. Righto. No mucking around, we're straight back in that next round. Get a couple of forwards on the line to battle it out. Here we go. We've got Raul Maud, Craig Nofke. 7-0 and a 7-1-5 dial-in. 146 reaction there from Rowan. But you'll see that win. 100 mile an hour with a 706 on a 700 dial-in. That's uh, a hard one to beat, but uh, Craig, a good time there as well. 719 on a 715 dial-in. But uh, that reaction time was uh, where it was. One. So, uh, Pretty close race, that one. Make sure if you get a chance, you walk past a volunteer today that you say thanks for the weekend. See all the Warwick Dragway volunteers. You can see, you know, Mad down there watering the lawn, uh, doing a doing a top job. Just hopefully he's not doing too much watering of the satellite dish there. But uh, <laughs> luckily, it's waterproof, eh? But no, the guys have done an amazing job. It's been hard work on that start line. Um, all new roads, everything here means it, you know, it brings a lot of uh, bits and pieces through on onto the start line. So uh, between that and marbly tyres, there's a lot of rubber coming off as well. So you notice how hard they are working after each run, sweeping and, and uh, hosing it off and doing as much as they can keep that start line perfect for us or well, the burnout area and then the start line obviously that prep going down up there that's uh, pretty uh, pretty on point I think last night she was uh, fairly sticky I had a walk around out there and I think that was certainly uh, as sticky last night as some of the world-class tracks that we've been around to and uh, the challenge is now to keep it you know, in that condition during the, the heat of the day today. It's already uh, warming up. It's uh, some pretty big temperature swings. So there's a lot to probably battle with there uh, on that start line with, uh, you know, getting so hot throughout the day, the hot sun and battling with that because that glue does uh, turn to slosh when it gets to a certain temperature and uh, loses that stickiness that you need. But then uh, at night, you're battling with the cooler temperatures of... Uh, keeping that heat into the track as well, which is uh, part of the reason that we did finish when we did. The track had cooled down uh, too much by the time we had the clean-up and uh, become a little bit unsafe to uh, continue running last night. So hence why we're finishing off the shootout now. It's Gary Green lines back up now against Joy Borg. That 6.58 dial-in on the wagon. 
Jai's dialed in 735. The best time for that is a 734, so uh, pretty spot on. The uh, Gary's best time is six. The reaction time goes to Gary with a 1.184. He's got a 1.5 in the 60. He's run a 6.98 there, Gary, and uh, gets the win. Uh, 8.59 there from Jai. It just didn't, uh, didn't go together for him in that run. Bill Martland, 675 dial in, up against Steve Absolute Smith for the 717 dial in of the right on cue. A good number plate that is, right on cue. Both leaving on the good screen, but uh, Steve's got the reaction with a 136. Just look, and he's not break out, and he's run a 727, gets the win. Steve Absolute Smith has uh, knocked Bill out of that one. He ran a 682 on that 675 but uh well done steve well done ring it back round let's go again Ron Ward, Jason Bowers. I've seen that Toronto around many a track. It actually uh, does travel around, loves to have a race out, at, uh, out here at Warwick, out at Bramer, at Willow Bank. And he's looking good. Looking good as he goes down, but not quite. The wind does go to Rowan. He's done a 7035. Tension in the pits, tension in the pits. Can we get group one to lanes four, five, and six? Four, five, and six. Lanes four, five, and six. Group one blue. Bring those cars around, Group 1 Blue. It's time to get your Sunday time slip. Shout out there, Tony, in the in the live stream chat. Tony Anderson, watching from Cairns. Certainly not happy that he uh, couldn't make it. Not afraid to do that drive and come down for uh, these events. So a bit bummed out he couldn't make this one, but he uh, still gets to see a bit of the action, which is uh, which is good. In my uh, Making sure that we get this stream going. Drags us around the country with him. Which we certainly don't mind. So I do see those cars lining up now, those Group 1 guys. 
So, uh, so uh, is there anyone there in group one, make sure you get them around, lanes four, five, and six. As, as we get the uh, Mr. Golden microphone himself coming in the door. Sounds healthy, ready to go. He's, already, he's had se seven thick shakes this morning. How many honeycomb thick shakes, mate? <laughs> I'll uh, pass you on over to Mr. Diggles. I mustn't have got the email about the early start, mate. I didn't get the email. Oh, I didn't know, but you were here. You were sounding very good, dangerous, Dave. You were sounding very good. I've been out there for 20 minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> I've been outside thinking, who's this bloke? Oh, that's Dave. <laughs> you do a good job, mate. You do a good job. Oh, not yet. He'll be right. He'll come out of his shell eventually. In, in his 40s. Yeah. Don't go changing <laughs> to try and please Dad. <laughs> Never been that much before. <clears throat> Morning. Mate, I was waking up very early this morning. I was so tired when I got back to the room. I left the key in the door. She thought that meant that I was gone. She burst through the door to clean the apartment and there's old Diggs, semi-naked. So uh, she goes, oh, sorry, I didn't know, check that. I said, what time is it? She goes, 7.30, I go, shit. She goes, you left the key in the door. I said, did I? She shows me, oh yeah. So she goes to Chuck, oh, just throw it in on the bed. And then she got bloody pole in one. All oh, right. Yeah, so this is, so, so this is the dial your own, this is the dial your own challenge. We must be down around. Are we, how many rounds have we had, Dave? We're in the semis and here he is. Gary Green and Stephen Smith, GG and SS, 717, 658, little chase, boom, boom, bang, bang. Gary <laughs> Green's a little bit better to Stephen Smith, Smithy, 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 730 on a 717 is the win. Gary Green, 678 on a 658. He's, he's doing all right. He's absolutely going through the... He's absolutely going through the field. Well, that might be that might be him and him. That might have to be. Well, I would say so. There we go. What time did you guys start this morning? Honestly, nine o'clock. What was it? Nine o'clock. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Just caught in traffic. Warwick, Warwick on a Sunday morning. Oh God, hectic. All right. Wow, Steve Smith in the final. I just wonder whether he'll, uh, well, look, in, in any other drag race, right, in any other drag race, he could come out here now. If he runs closer to his dial-in, technically he can have lane choice. But look, Smithy's not worried about that. He's just going to go to the final. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Oh, no, we, ne we need to cool down. We need to... We, we need to we need to check the data we need to download the maps we're not this is it folks ladies and gentlemen a ford versus holden final for three thousand dollars rowan warden stephen smith seven flat for the falcon oh they're not mucking around they're just gone it's gone bang bang good morning sunday morning let's give away three thousand dollars double oh six you are incredible and uh, Stephen Smith, 740 on a 717. Margin of victory, 181,000. That's after literally hot lapping the car. You come back after a run, cut a 006, and not even turn the car off. That's drag racing for you. That's the real stuff. That's the real people. You don't get any more real than Stephen Smith from absolute lifting and safety. He's taken by all accounts, by the look of all of this. $3,000 in the Dial Your Own Challenge thanks to Quick 60 Race Cars and Components. And hot lap it around in, um, I mean, honestly, he could have just sat back, chilled, give us a couple of minutes, do whatever. It's like, oh, you're gonna race this guy if you win, right? I will be right back. 006. Dub 
Oh, did he ride in the Gemini? So they raced first up. Yeah, what was that? Uh, who did he race? Chris. Yeah, right. What's the bet? Chris just sort of smashed the tyres off him. He had it loaded for bear. He, he wanted to... Uh, he wanted to go out there with a bit of a bang and try and crack it. And, and, and you know what, when you think about it, that's the, the primo time to do it is, you know, fresh off the prep. Haven't got a lot of track temp up yet. We've got a little bit. We're, we're hanging, the, hanging the big boys out first and um, did the job. So obviously they must, have been, uh, they must have been on it early here to, to clean up. Of course, we, we, finished, we finished in um, not so glorious circumstances last night with the first lady of radio racing, Tanya Thompson, having an additional baptism of fire to go with all the other baptism of fires within the last 700 plus runs she's had with the car. It's been an on and off relationship. It's won her a lot of uh, accolades, won her a lot of um, trophies, awards, championships, that car, and she's committed to it. But yeah, last night all hell broke loose in, in, in no, no short amount of time. The lady had uh, got off the zing. I mean, it zinged, it zinged hard, but she got off it by the time that little bit of angle was corrected by lifting off the throttle. The thing's just gone flush, literally flush. Hit hit the concrete, literally all at the one time. It's not like it went in on the guard and then slapped the back of the car. It's had a full-on sideways shunt. So if she had another foot of space on that side, it probably could have could have saved it but guess what that car's one foot shorter on one side now you know what i mean it's uh there's not a lot of there's only so much real estate you can give everyone and really you don't want any more than that really imagine if you had so much more room here to get over to the wall well then we're playing with way bigger angles than what we let these people uh do but it's uh, one of those beautiful uh beautiful but bittersweet moments when uh, horsepower meets uh Horsepower meets the unexpected, and uh, and that's what it looks. And concrete, yeah, that's what it looks like. So uh, there we go. I can't believe that. Hot laps the car back, like that's true street meet fashion. That is, that's that's just. Did I win? Yep. Do I go to the final? Yep. When is that on now? Oh, can I go now? And and just lines it right up. And as we said, the instant, the instant pro, like the pro tree, bang bang. To go 006 on that, to go 006 is nearly, <coughs> that's almost the biggest feat of the weekend, the ability. Robert Roberts, why would not, well, trouble is in this form of racing, you can't, no one can complain about it. Everyone got the same amount of tree and um, he was just, he was almost like telepathic. He just shot, shot from the hip, did, uh, it did Stephen Smith. He shot from the hip, and uh, it works. It works. That was, yeah, oh, that's it. He was either having a big gas or I don't know what he was doing. But he was just, I think, zoned in. I think, you know, because what, what sometimes happens, I think, and, and this is a, 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 phys, a physiology, a phys, phys, you know, it's something to do with the body, right? Um, and that's if you came back and just had a minute to chill, you know what I mean? Come back and just go, right, a couple of minutes after these guys, we're going to run you. You might not be as switched on. You know what I mean? You might have had a chance to relax, get the, the, the heart rate down a little bit. Just just take a little bit of that adrenaline that just happened from the run before if you won. But he's still up here, Steve. Steve's up here after winning in the semi and no chance to cool down, no chance for maybe the heart rate to drop or the adrenaline to drop. And then comes out in the final and goes, bang, double, <laughs> double oh six. Um, it was still 161 thousand split at the stripe. It was still a tight race. But just remember, on the lead up to that, folks, was what did we say we had? What did we have last night? 100 and ladies, what did we have last night? What was the first? 118. So 118 is what we had uh, enter last night. And all through last night, we were going swell. We, we had, you know, we were getting crazy at 80 thousand, 80 thousand split at the stripe. 80, th you know, 80 thousand margin of victory of a second, 80 thousands. And then that became 48,000s, and then that became you know, 36,000s, and then that came 18,000s. And it's like, wow, well, these people in their streetcars, that's some pretty tight racing. Considering that's handicap, a uh, handicap, dial your own handicap elimination racing, but pro tree. So you're actually asking the street racers to hit the, hit the tree like the pros do, 
Uh, and then you go double oh six in a street car and you go, well, <laughs> you're just one of the best darn, that's one of the best darn amateur drag racing moments of the year if you're not a pro, you know. And as we are talking about last night, Steve says, yeah, you know, we have all this fun. We come away and we have uh, have a ball. And then he said, we go back to our normal lives on Monday. He said, but, you know, that keeps us grounded and keeps us humble. And he was all, all about humility talking about it last night, Steve. He's... His uh, his heart's definitely in the right place for uh, for everything for everything to do with his lifestyle. Work hard, play hard, play nice. Be a good shirt. Be a good shirt. Work hard, play hard, play nice. These guys are going to uh, have another crack here, and, and why wouldn't you? On a Sunday, beautiful Sunday, here in Queensland, Warwick, Australia, automotive freedom forever. That's a shirt. Automotive freedom forever. Lee Warns, John Bez neighbor. Go on, Holdens. Let it rip. Oh, yeah, that's got some. He's creeping up on that one. They're still going for a hunt. 556, 133 mile an hour. 556 at 133. Lee Warns, 669 at 103. These are all tr absolute treat. Thank you, Tyler. Rob Armstrong and Adam Rin. This is the um, the first group. Back to group one. Adam Rin in that XC Falcon. This boosted hatchback Tirana for Rob Armstrong. These guys love boosting it up. They love letting go of the button. They love getting shot out of a cannon. 5.95, there you go. 5.95 at 118 mile an hour. It hit hard and it hit good. 6.58 for Adam Rin. Jeez, they're all bringing some good numbers. They're in good practice. Few hits Friday, few hits yesterday, few hits here, beautiful Sunday. Rob uh, Armstrong gone with a five second time. Now, Jerry Keane, Billy Cumner. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, I love it. He won the uh, the Wheelie King Award last night. He's the only guy that you just know, watch this. You know, he's a, he's a bit predictable when it works well, but you're never bored. If, if predictable can never be boring, that's what that is. Jerry Keane, 667, 696 for Bill Cumner in the panel van. Now you can. Did you hear the reason? Did you hear the reason why Steve Carkeet's been looking for rockers all weekend? Did you hear that reason? He loves to rev them. Steve Carkeet and Kurt Rowita. Just stuns me. Absolutely stuns me. Every single pairing, every single pass is someone's pride and joy. And and when you look at it, you you you, you tend to adopt that pride and share in that joy. So thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Steve, again, for sharing your cars with us. And do with them what you want. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Steve Carr, Keep 561. 561, 125 mile an hour. That's, that's more like it. That did everything right. 135 in the 60 foot. 561, 125. Kurt Rowita. Another one of those gorgeous 650 cars that we have. 658 at 108, ain't messing around. And they keep coming, Richard Rocket and David Mott. Dick Rocket, Dick Rocket and Motty. HQ Coop, another treat to the eyes. He even with the pedal went 149 in the 60 foot. Mott goes 624 at 113. 656. Richard Rocket, 103 mile an hour.
All right. He's going to have another shot at it this morning. Ben Vlecken, Dave Webber, never seems to wear this Valiant out. He runs it everywhere, treats it the same way every time. Another time slip for the glove box. But Benny Vlecken looking for another five second or even four second indication that they've got this Warwick track beat. And that next weekend, I think you'll have a great go at Jungabunga no Brett. Yeah, feeds it. 13060 foot brings the power in here. Ben Vlecken, 510, 510, 144, 510, 144 mile an hour for Benny. 706 at 98 mile an hour for Dave Weber. 130 and the 60 for Ben. Really just walked that tyre out. It, it came out good. 130 in the 60. And you know what? That's going to look good for Shane Baker. He's just about to use the same lane. What do you do though? Like, do you look at where Ben Vlecken's just left the line and think, I'd want the same patch right now that Ben just used? It's hard to probably get that as spot on. I mean, they are both VH Commodores, so you think track-wise, then Nelly should be right over the top. Every car, I'm sure, if you measured every VH Commodore here this weekend, and as much as they are all the same, they, I bet you they will be different in so many ways, so many ways to go fast. All right, William Yarwood, 2JZ power. That looks good for him. Good launch for him, 142 in the 60 foot, Baker will keep it in him. 136 in the 60, 585 for Will, 522 for Shane Baker, 522, 140 mile an hour, they're hitting it nice. 136 in the 60, that's Will Yarwood got my attention, 142 in the 60, the Super was gone on his best one yet, 585. 123 mile. You don't think you feel like you're moving, going 140 mile an hour into the uh, the Warwick braking area. This new runoff area, this new braking area, it's just these cars love it. The quick boys. Good send to the 660. Zach Curley, same deal here. Very, very spicy barra. Cody Scotland. Spicy. Skyline. He's even going the bump and everything. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, he can come back. He, he could have. Zach, Zach, hello, Zach. Anyway, Cody's off. Cody says get to Zach on the way past. And he's going to get an ET. Hey, nice one. 657. Nice one. 6.57 and uh, yeah, Zach could have nearly rolled back if he just had the presence of mind. It's, we're normally a little bit slightly flexible and we've, and we've proven to be that before. But he'll have another crack at it, you would hope, later. More treats for you to see, folks. Carla Barrett and uh, Darren Bauman. I think he won best Mopar last night, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Um, this this has turned up and impressed like nothing else. Just a gorgeous Plymouth Duster, US Mopar, tough as nails. Carla, what about Carla in the hatchback? Is that an? Is that enough? Is that enough? Uh, car to give an Aussie girl on a Sunday? No. That's plenty, Carla. And she's going to get a good time slip here too. So, oh, best one for her. 717 for Carla in the hatchback. 661 for that duster. 661. 106 mile an hour. These boys having match races now or something. All right, Chris Carsberg. Gonna have another crack here. Group two, group two, to, group two white to the lanes, please. Group two white to the lanes. Group two white to the lanes, please. 
All right, off goes Ryan. Oh, yeah, Chris just knocked the tyre off on the instant as well. It's got, it's got plenty. It's got plenty. Coasts to 100 mile an hour after a couple of squeezes. 772. 685, though, going for the little Gemini. It's a bit too spicy for, for Chris. So group two, group two white to the lanes for your shot. Group two white to the lanes, please. Group two, group two to the lanes. Good morning. He's having a ball out there, Gary Brett. And Steven Stecker. This this was nearly the best four. Like, I mean, we're talking about best forwards and we had a forward which was an amazing winner, but and then even this, it's like I thought this was definitely in the mix. That many gorgeous Fords and Holdens and Mopars and every other brand you would imagine. Some old school Toyota coming up here in a sec. Gary Brett, another crack at the tree. Oh, he's loving it. Side by side, look at these two guys hitting the stripe. Right through together. 646 there for Stecker, 669 for Gary. Pretty much run what you brung and enjoy it. They're the, they're the rules, right? Run what you brung and enjoy what you run. All right, it's uh, Jack Williams' time to have a crack. We just saw Rob get the hatchback down and now Rob's out of the car and it's over to Jack. Andrew Rankin, isn't this a treat? A lot of people dig these things. I dig them, I dig them. How cool is that? That's worldwide cool, you know what I mean? Like. Other people across the world would recognise maybe the old Corona shape, but see the Aussie twist on it. And of course, when you show them a hatchback Tirana, they don't, they don't know where to look. Tell you what, that little Corolla got all of our attention then. It hit the line hard. 573 for Rankin. It went 138. Yeah, yeah. 138 in the 60 foot. 141 for, for Jack. But Andrew Rankin, that little Corona. What a missile. And he gets a five second time too, Jack Williams. All oh, right, Michael Osborne's going to get more uh, boosted Hilux action. As is Kevy Brown, our Kevy. Known Kevy since he was a lad. He can build a good donk, I tell you. We've got so many talented young engine builders coming through. Oh, they've all got their own horsepower in their own way. Kevy goes 631 at 110. 667 for the Hilux. That's that's more like it. That's lighting up all blue there. He'd be happy, Michael Osborne, because that's that's the best ET he's had so far all weekend. Very, very good. Everyone's getting what they want. That's one more good run in and 138, 138 for Rankin. So lucky to have every type of little cute, tough car that you can imagine. And these guys ain't finished yet either. Travis Greaves still uh, proudly wearing his 700 dial in from last night. Matt Francis, another run in the Little V8 Bravo. Oh, they're both getting what they want here. They're both getting what they want here. Yes, lighten up PBs. 6.57 for Matt Francis. Travis Grieve, 6.99. Just nails it. He, has a, he had a 7.00 dial in last night. And he comes up and goes 6.99 today, just on his next hit. 6.57 for Matty Francis. Not minding that at all. I'll let that go on. I was happy to let that go on for a bit there. Michael McLean, bit of intent. Jason Bowers beside. Just a neat four-door Torrey turbo six-cylinder package. Works well. winds the hatchback out 661 for Jason 697 there for Michael oh, 
they're all getting a little bit of something they need here either a better ET or a higher mile an hour that they're all lighting up blue again so just another call we should have the white group in the lanes now group two group two the white the white group group two to the lanes please for your Sunday run Daniel Jewel now and Dan Young oh Dan and Dan don't plan this stuff just happens Holden Dan and Ford Dan great run there by Dan Dan goes through for 718 while Daniel goes 748 nothing lighting up blue there beautiful day here at Warwick little bit of breeze not as much as we've had the last two days and I tell you what the folk here have really just made us feel so welcome and everyone's just settled in nice and had a ball Neil Ross Troy Hewitt Troy creeping up on this turbo V8 VL giving him a bit of love One six five in the sixty foot, and another good run for him. Six forty five. Did the deal. Did the deal. Lit up all blues there, so that's the best there for Hewitt. Handled it all nice. One six five in the sixty foot. Just enjoying an iced mocha. I called it a double mocha because it was a, a Macca's ice mocha and then I also forgot I had a 750ml dare mocha as well. So I'm going like 1.5 litres of mocha. That can't end. Can't end, but good can it? Can't end well. Just another experiment I'm doing on myself. Dean Wilson and Xander Taborski, two Utes. Getting Xander instructed there. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I think is that Mia going, oh, by the way, that's where the nitrous is. <laughs> by the way, Xander, have a crack at the gas. Xander, hey, Xander, try this gas. He's going to try it. Dean Wilson's going to light the wick here on the boosted six-banger. Go and have a look at this card. And please tell me what's in it. Oh, Xander likes the NOS. Dean Wilson, good run from the beginning to the end. 164 in the 60 and a 662 at the other end. 662 at 105. 739 is lighting up all uh, blues here for Xander Taborski. So I'd say the NOS works well. I guess he'll be finding that button again. Why not? There's the, there's the NOS. Give it a hit. Magic happens. Thomas Alvarez and Gus Gamble. I think Gus got best holding last night from memory. So we are uh, calling Group 2 White. Group 2 White should be in the, uh, in the lanes. A lot of them are. bit of two things there I think it did a little bit of wheel spin and a little bit of traction control 758 at 100 mile an hour 692 lit up a, a blue one there for uh, Gus Gemmel so Gus getting a better ET than he's had before okay, some of the Borg boys have done for the weekend thanks guys come again no you will Mackay there so oh here he is All oh, right, yeah, that's the guy that won the best burnout contest last night. We had a lot of late entrants that started to catch on that maybe I should do a big skid now, and it was already already too late. We had uh, Gianni Rosson's name already in the in the book. Uh, Johnny, and, 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 here's the, and here's the man that won the 650 shootout on Friday night beside him, John Oliver. It's a really cranky VH, this thing. Boy tries to hide it behind the sun visor and the Venetian. It's just plain cranky. Massive scoop. Big, big air cleaner. 
angry attitude. 6.47 at 106 mile an hour as PB's everywhere by the looks of that. Giardi, 7.06 in the Sun Budgie, also a, uh, a PB so far. All the gorgeous streetcars, just gorgeous streetcar after gorgeous streetcar. No trailer queens here. Dan Bertham and Daniel Gathercol. And again, we haven't lit lined up all the Dans together, but we have again. Is this now Dan Fest, is it? Come on, Dan. Dan gives it to it while Daniel gets out a little bit behind it. But right now, Daniel's coming in on Dan, but Dan's there. But Daniel, right at the end, it's Daniel 711 and Dan 728. Yay, Dan. You know, we can't plan this stuff. It just happen. They just pop up together. I think we had one. I think I had one night. There was two Kevins. I think it was Kevin Brown and Kevin Morton racing each other. I, think. I remember the. Yeah, that was in the DYO. Yeah, yeah. The de the um the Kevin and the Kevin. Yeah, we. I think we did, went full soccer World Cup commentator on the on the uh, Kevin Kevin run. Uh, Whoa! He took the long way round, didn't he, Michael Baradell? But that's a good number for him, the hatchback. Oh, 7.08. Oh, we love these things. 7.08 at 98 mile an hour. 7.53 for Glenn. Okay, uh, group three, group three, orange, group three, orange. Orange people, can you come to the staging lanes, please? Group three, orange. Group three, orange to the lanes, please. As you can imagine, we do have the odd entrant that has decided to leave on the Sunday. Um, so yes, we're gonna have these groups a little smaller and who knows, you might get a run. Um, Michael Shaw and Don Maxwell. Few issues getting us the attention, are we all good? Just. They're just having a look at whether or not he might have leaked something, but they let him roll back a bit, gave him, I think, the clean bill of health, I think. Is that Sunday Junga retire out there? Is it just, that's the summer, summer colours of Junga out there. He looks like one big mullet wearing ice cream cone, doesn't he? Uh, Don Maxwell and Michael Shaw. Into stage. It's all right. It's a, I think it's a 235 aspirated car, Michael Shaw. Don Maxwell, the VT, 743's lightening up all blues for Michael Shaw. So PB's there. 879 for Don Maxwell. Not a perfect setup. So um, Orange, Orange Group to the lanes, please. Orange Group, Group 3, Group 3, Orange to the lanes, please. Group 3, Orange to the lanes. Oh, it's been tremendous. We've had um, we've had thousands of people uh, watch our stream, which is good. A lot of people keeping eyes on it. I I had a, quite a few personal messages from people on my phone with the stream up. You know, they might be in their their man cave or their lounge room and sitting there watching it with the kids, keeping an eye out on what's happening here with some of Queensland's neatest streetcars. Scott Knight and Tim Alford here. Hey, they're not wasting the moment here, Scott Knight. Seven, yeah, that's better. That's better again. 724 at 98 mile an hour. That's lighting up PBs. Tim Alford, 974 at 78 mile an hour. Issues on the start line. And this is the one that won the Showstopper Award last night. And that's... Uh, the beautiful EJ. You don't see too many EJs, but uh, Benny Taylor took the Showstopper Award. Uh, and you know what? It could have just been gorgeous and slow, but it's not gorgeous and slow. It's gorgeous and tough. It's everything. So it really did sort of drop our jaws. Joshua Booker, great boosted Commodore. He's been enjoying it as well. And 182 with a 60 foot to boot. All right, Josh is going to light the fuse here. Here we go. That's good so far. Comes out clean. 152 in the 60 foot. It's on a good one. We're going to light up some PBs. Yes, we are. 629 at 110. 
629 at 110. That worked a treat. All of that worked a treat. Jeez, it's good when it all works together. When you just get that perfect run and it did everything right. You should be pumped for that. That'll, that'll we'll come back going, yep, yeah, that just about felt as good as it's ever been. Oh. Oh, yeah. They love to thrash them. Marek Scorpel out there in his VE. Ben Wood, that Barra-powered crown wagon. Something maybe the Yokoshima family would have driven in um, Japan on the Sunday, the family... Yokoshima family. It'd almost be as heavy as a VE. I'm sure it would be. 688. Isn't that a real head turner? 688 at 109. 779 at 100. Actually, he should match race the Volvo wagon. We should have a wagon class. Perfect. Maybe we should. Maybe we should see if the long roofs all want to race each other one day. Just have a top wagon class. Every wagon. Put a van class. Hey, the ute class would be massive. And you know one thing about the ute class? It doesn't matter. It's not just Ford and Holden utes. It's every ute you've ever seen. Dano 1200 versus Hilux versus XF. Or Camaro versus Tirana. Oh, I tell ya. Living up to the license plate, Stephen Inglis. Unsafe. 677 for Matthew Maloney. That Camaro. That was a that was like another showstopper as well, that car. Good paint. Very good paint. Matthew Maloney gone down the track with good paint and a fast time. And now it's up to uh, these two to get another number. Mia. Now Mia knows where the nitrous is. Peter Fenton. He's the one we got the fuel pump for, and he got it really quickly, apparently. Went down the back here, and same deal. Got himself a fuel pump in no, no short notice. This time, there's something not just letting that thing free. Meanwhile, Mia, 721. Business as usual, but it is lighting up blue there. So 721 at 100. Looks like a PB. Yeah, they build them to enjoy them. And these guys enjoy these things as much as they can. Ross Benjamin and Ben Roberts. So Ross Benjamin and Ben Roberts. The HR, the VH. LSA, the VH. Not happy. Not a happy little VH there. Not coming out with its usual gusto and uh, appears troubled, however, Ross Benjamin goes 162 in the 60 foot and a 718 down the other end. All sweet for him. Oh, Billy, Billy. Hey, don't forget, folks, we've still got limited merchandise for Road Trip Drag Challenge, a variety of Different colours and sizes still there. Make sure you don't leave it too late. We don't want to pack them up and then have to pull them back out. It's just easy to go and grab them now. All right, Indy Grayson and Bill Martland. Indy's got something going on in this Commodore. I'm hearing stuff on board. Don't know until you look under the hood, you don't, wouldn't know. 872 there for Indy, 677 for Billy. All right, Jake is back. Jake Kartsberg and Gary Green. The Gary Green grocery getter. The GG, GG. Gary Green's grocery getter would be great in that wagon class we just talked about. Imagine all the long roofs together. Hey, 152 for Gary in the wagon. It's no slouch and Jake 767 good numbers for him 664 for Gary the wagon doing 102 mile an hour just on the 660 that's still not bad for a wagon is it 0 to 100 mile an hour in 6.6 .6 seconds 
They're tough machines any which way you look at them. Oh, that's so funny. That's so good. Phil Penny, Phil Penny, you've made my morning. Phil Penny was listening to the live stream and he's still got his, he's, he's still got cramps in his stomach because I said, Junger, you look like one big mullet wearing an ice cream cone. That was just my first observation. He does, look at his, his Neapolitan Junger out there. He's got, you know, he's got the, the, um, the blueberry, he's got the, the strawberry, he's got lemon sorbet, he's got a big spice of ginger on the top. He could be the, he could be the rainbow paddle pop or a version of the paddle pop line in some way. He's a good Queenslander, good Queensland boy. And it's good to see Junger in his summer clothes. You probably got, if you haven't by next weekend, Junger, you better have yourself a nice big bloody boss dog costume next weekend, me mate. If you're going to be, if this is Junger Bunger no prep next week, you better come with a big fancy outfit, I reckon. You're going to get him in as the big boss dog next weekend. Or just wear the ice cream stuff. Ice cream stuff will work. If I see you wear the pink glasses, though, I'll know that you're all part of Team Stinky Pinky. I was trying to get Junger a ride in Stinky's, you know, the car that he brought over for No Prep Kings. I, I was trying to say to Stinky, listen, what's that thing going to do when it goes back to America? He's probably just going to put it in the shed because he's driving the, uh, the Cadillac. I had an idea that we could take Junger Bunger from Australia and put him in the other Stinky Pinky car and run the Stinky Pinky car as, a, as you know, a wild car. And that's just dreaming big. It might happen. It might happen one day. But I'd love to see him driving. Um, love to see him driving uh, in the states, because I'm his age and I'm his Jerry Maguire. And the only trouble is, is that he and him. Uh, well, he doesn't seem to be in a hurry. Neither am I. So we're not really pushing it. But we thought, wouldn't it be a good idea, Junger? If it ever happens, I'll be your guy. I'll be the guy that comes in and goes, right, line up here, ladies. Come and meet a real Aussie, real Aussie hero. And he's a Queenslander as well. And that'll be the thing, if we do Junga Bunga merchandise, it's gonna be like maroon colour. Like everything, every Junga Bunga merchandise would have to be Queensland maroon colour. It's almost like you, wear, you buy the jersey, it looks like a Queensland State of Origin jersey, except you have a look, it's got Junga across the back of it. That could be the, the 2024 assault. The only trouble is, this is the other thing I said to Junga last night, I said, yes, we could pursue a No Prep Kings career with you, but who's gonna run the track? If you're off chasing the new Hollywood lifestyle, how can we run your own racetrack? So we decided to give fame and fortune the flick for the moment. That's our plan. We're giving fame and fortune the flick. And Jung is putting his you know, Hollywood career aspirations aside. And his agent's happy with that because that means I don't have to do anything for now. But you know what? We're certainly going to they're certainly going to know a little bit more about this bloke. Because um, when you grow up, when you grow up at a racetrack, and when you go from being a boy to a man, you know, and from a son to a father, and you still love drag racing as much as they do, well, you know, the, uh, the future is set here for many a year of good times here again at, at Warwick Dragway. With Junger out the front, steering them all around. Is Junger Bunger no prep next weekend? Is, uh, is on it actually, uh, Gates open at 10 for all the entrance. Uh, test hits four o'clock till five o'clock next weekend, five o'clock till 10 is the racing so I no doubt it'll be some call outs and there'll be some money up and um, got to be out here folks it's only 20 bucks for spectators so you know it's a, it's a you heard of no prep kings this is pretty much the Aussie the Aussie version of it and and using some of the best cars in southeast Queensland to be here I know we will probably see one or two that you're seeing in here but there's a whole other bunch would you believe next weekend that you ain't seen here so take Digest that. 220 gorgeous cars we're seeing here today. A very small percentage of them will be hitting the Junga Bunga No Prep cash days next Saturday. There's a whole other bunch of cars that, yeah, there's some spicy stuff coming next weekend. So I get here next Saturday to see Junga go full race master. Yeah, I reckon he does. He needs some, like, he either needs to wear... You know, either big, big Cletus Burdett from, you know, um, Smoking the Bandit or, you know, Boss Hog. You know, Boss Hog from um, Jukes of Hazard. I don't know. He, he needs to do that. The other, the other sort of great promoters, 
Uh, and I'm thinking of Donald Long, you know, Duck X from, you know, Lights Out and No Mercy and Sweet 16. He likes to dress up in a big sort of pimp outfit with the gold chains and the, the hat and stuff. I mean, Junker doesn't have to dress up too much. He's already a larger-than-life character. And, uh, yeah, I can imagine him walking into Lowe's menswear and just going, that's the shirt for me. Like, I'm sure that's it. But <laughs> thank you, Phil. <laughs> he must be watching the live stream to say he's still cacking himself down there at Nambucca Heads watching the live stream and that the big, you know, honeycomb-topped <laughs> Neapolitan ice cream cone that is Junger Bunger is... Uh, the sport's in good hands when blokes like him are around. And uh, look, we're just, we're lucky. Lucky to live in this great country where we do have the freedoms to do what we want still with our cars. And how dare they if they ever think they're going to come and uh, take any more of that away from us than they have. Um, it's la last time I looked outside there, that all looks perfectly like freedom and recreation to me. And if you're going to cut down... If people are going to clamp down on people's recreation, well, I guess there's going to be this massive uproar by everyone because that means you can't discriminate when it comes to recreation. They're already telling us we can't discriminate against people that might think differently to you or have different beliefs. In other words, they think they're a cat or, you know, whatever. Don't start discriminating against what you rate as recreation because, geez, this is jobs, jobs, jobs people have to build these engines people have to paint these cars people have to work hard to pay for this passion for this recreation and what you see in the, in the end result is is pretty much the ultimate expression of freedom because that's yours yours to use yours to enjoy and if you want to skid them skid them god damn given right scooter's going to take that Sure is. So is William Keogh. So is another 210 of them have done it over the last couple of days. Scooter March, as usual, turns up, of course, redneck fancy dress last night. Actually, not a big lineup. A few sleepers in there. Also, a lot of people in the crowd that could have been in the contest too. But Scooter came as full redneck, full costume. But he's back out there again, pumping down low eights with the uh, the F-Truck. 8.28 at 84 mile an hour. 7.80 for William. Sure thing. He's still keen to do them. Michael Sears wants another crack here in the VH. Oh, listen to those lungs. Nofke, 705 in the Falcon. 659 for Michael Sears. Yeah, that 650 shootout. He'd be right in there with that. Good run. 150 in the 60. 150 in the 60. And uh, 167 in the 60 for Craig Nofke. Chris Shaw and Daniel Morando. Now, we'll look, we're into, I think, Group 3, the orange orange people. If the lanes, how are the lanes looking? So, final call, final call for the orange guys to the lanes, please. Final call for the orange guys. I dare say the yellow guys, get ready, don't roll. Just about ready to come. So, right now, we should final call for the lanes for orange. Uh, group 3. And if you're Group 4 Yellow, I guess you can just keep an eye on the lanes and get ready for the call. Chris Shaw, 869, 848 there for Daniel. All right, here she is. Danielle is back. As is Mitchell Fleet. Danielle Brady. We've got the wheel up there. I don't know what the issue was with it last night, but it doesn't seem to be hurting it now. 766, 766 at 100 mile an hour. 189 in the 60 foot. 1140 for Mitchell. He's 
bringing the performances down a little bit again. Yeah, so the trials and tribulations of a stick shift racer. Danielle can write her own book. Corey Braish now in the WB. Timmy Cross in one of his Cortinas. Can't wait till he brings out the, the, the quick one. The runner's gone low fours in the eighth. The radial car. But this is a bit of fun. I think he's loving the road trip. Hello, big stall there for Corey. Timmy trying to light the fuse. Here we go. Ah, oh, just does it so well. 178 the 60, 669. Jeez, if you looked at all his time slips, he got that many 660s, it's not funny in that car. Just does does it good, doesn't I know that he's got plenty more power that he can possibly use. And I know he's toned that down a lot, so it just just repeats, repeats, repeats. Jeez, that's more than just a cop and a splutter. They're pushing the old WB back. Now make sure you've got clean hands when you're touching that paint, okay? Just don't want to smudge the paintwork, boys. Just Dave, I hope you got clean hands there, mate. I don't I wouldn't want that WB to get any blemishes on the paint. <laughs> Sorry. Just an, that was irony, I think. Okay, he can I kind of went all loco last night. If this guy brings out if he revs this rotary too much, I snap into an automatic Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican call here. Esta is the Inca. Fruit, fruit, fruit. It's the Inca. Has Dorinta 13B. Has Dorinta. Ryan Fican 13B on the property. Oh, this, this, this guy's Mr. Entertainment. Just. Such a great little car, the Bullet Roadster. Oh, that's excitement. And look at this, look at this. 688, 688, 101. 688, 101, lighting up the blues, PBs there today and I think for the weekend for Ryan. Got it into the sixes, but it takes a lot of effort to get that car to, to do it, but he's got that perfect clutch setup that works for it. it he can't probably quite sidestep it if he does it's either going to break something or wheel spin when i get my little sierra going that's kind of how i think you got to launch it you sort of do that little bit of slip don't don't go the massive sidestep on it it might just get out of control too early so he's just got that clutch perfect mind you you're going to watch some sidesteppers coming up in the next couple of groups. Brian Heffler, Troy O'Hare, absolute gifts, gifts, beautiful four-wheel gifts to Ford lovers and car lovers alike. 706 for Brian Heffler, 770 there for Troy O'Hare. The Blue Oval, it's it's coming back, the Blue Oval. Seeing a lot of Ford stuff come back. Well, what do you mean back, out of the, out of the garages where Fords love to live. <laughs> but it's good to see more Fords out in the sun. Kelvin Addison and Dylan Murdoch. We know they've been there. We do our sums. So like, where are the Fords? Well, we know they're around somewhere. Here comes cranky little Ryan out the back here. Ah. Este aliente, veselistas. Look at that there for Kelvin, 827. And a uh, little bit behind Dylan Murdoch, 780 though. Just took his time. Oh, you, you scared me, madam, you scared me. Can't do that with your little car. Shots fired. That was a bit shocking. Shocking Shara Hoskin. Rick Smoothie though, no problems. Very soothing. Oh, he won best chef, I think, Rick Smoothie last night from memory. Oh, just a... She nearly got that thing out over the tyre just the once and that's all it would have needed. Rick Smoothie, 771. 
the 55 Chev goes 181 in the 60 foot. Shara all pops and bangs off the line. Oh, they just keep rolling. We should be in um, group three orange and group four yellow. Just, you, you should like, just, just watch where all the uh, orange, make sure all the orange people are in front of you before the yellow people come down. I, I'm just making a little unofficial call that you should just keep your eyes out there, yellow group four. We just want to get all the orange guys through first, then you can have your go. Carl Livingston and Andrew McClellan. I think 308 in the uh, in the Tirana, 847 at 83 mile an hour, pretty much right on what he's run as a PB. Andrew McClellan, 842. Now here's the guy. They're, they're both proudly wearing their uh, dial-ins from last night. Derek O'Hare in the HQ Coupe, and Luke Fraham. This boosted. Tray back has got so much potential. You can hear it. it it's boosted the lesson or something. Yeah, it's got plenty there. It's just maybe a converter away from making it all live and up. Still got power. 766 though is improving. And 767 for Derek O'Hare. Ah, uh, it's got to feel good. Sounds good. Everyone's got their own little burnout technique. And I like Sean Deegan's. Sets it up, bit of static, gets the smoke on, carries it out of the water. Love it. Justin Spicer, the, the VN. Got just about every Commodore you can imagine. And even the VNs, they're, they're sprucing up in value. 9.32 for Justin. 7.16 there for Sean Deegan. Yeah, we still got some original relics amongst us. All right, two Utes out there. Tony Rogers in the Falcon. Mark Pennykewick manually shifted. So he gets to pop the clutch here, the Commodore. There we go. So a little bit of a bog on the line there for Mark, but still an 8.90, 7.32 for Tony Rogers. Nearly 100 mile an hour for him. Lighten up blue here. Here's Mr. Ross Fuller Love. That's right. I think I went to check his entry form last night. Ross Fuller Love. Matthew Balky in the, uh, the fair lane beside him. And the big shoebox, Chev's no slouch. 176 in the 60 foot, 766. And an 843 for Matthew in the fair lane. Oh, we're not done with our cr cranky beast. All little packets of excitement. Only the, uh, the net weight differs. So you can get awesome little packets like Scott Clibborn here. 13B Corolla, manually shifted. When it's all good, it's all good. 714 at 103 mile an hour. 831 at 95 mile an hour there for Memphis. All right, group four, group four to the lanes, please. Group four. Group four, group four, the yellow. Group four, yellow to the lanes, please. Group four, yellow to the lanes, please. Group four, yellow to the lanes, please. Group four, yellow to the lanes. All right, Mel McBride, Reg Pettiford. 
think we got him down for best holding. I think was it? I can't remember. We got he, oh, he got the dedication award. That's right. He went to the Holden Nationals and came back, did about 4,000 k's to get back for road trip. Mel McBride, that blowing six-cylinder panel van, 867, 950 for Edge Pettiford. Yeah, he won the dedication award, that's right. That's what it was. So, yellow group, yellow group, group four, group four. Yellow group, group four. Oh, they're not all done yet. Jason Martin and John Burnett. Burnett in the VH, but Jason Martin, another one with the, one of those funny clutch pedal things. Love the stick shift. That's pretty sp uh, sprightly. 754 to a 759. Burnett, 178 in the 60 foot, 759. Martin, 191, 60 foot, 754. He got it all together. All right. She toughed this thing. No, I'm not talking about you, Beth. Yes, you are tough. When I meant to say she's tough, I was talking about the wagon. But yes, Beth Mansfield French, we know how tough you are. Plenty of laps on this Capri between her and, uh, and Terry. They get to quite a few events. I'd love to know how many time slips they've had for the year. Brendan Burnett, this wagon, when it's working well, it, it gets right down to that low seven second zone. Spins the tyres a little bit that time. Beth doesn't. 8.15 at 88 mile an hour. Brennan Burnett, 7.83. With a less than perfect run. Oh yeah, that's got to feel good. Mark McNee making sure the VC Valiant continues to spit out the smoke and fun. Jason Burnett in his wagon. Yeah, we got long roofs for days. Would be great little category, I reckon. Need a long roof sponsor. All right, Mark getting ready in the VC. Jason Ellie to the 660, 7.98 for the wagon. Mark McNee, not off in full flight by the look of it. Not this time, something's up. 10.55 for him. All right, there's Terry Mansfield French and Patrick Shaw. A few more of our guys heading off after their run. Put the trailer on some of them. Saw the guys out there with the roof rack before. Patrick Shaw dropping the clutch. Terry Mansfield French mashing the right foot. 760 for the big fair lane. 804 for Patrick, which is lighting up blues. Another guy that does it well with the manual is David McLeod. Beside him, Neville French. Can almost have a fair lane class even. We've had a lot of fair lanes turn up this weekend. That was a pretty good launch there for David McLeod. It all worked well. No bogging, no wheel spin. And that might light up blue here. It does. 8.46 for him. That's the best that he's managed to nail. 12.11 for Neville. Neville's had the big fair laid into the 11s. Here's the bloke that won the Dial Your Own Challenge only half an hour ago. And now Steve Smith's out for another run. That, that, that slip you should keep and frame the final winning run of the Dial Your Own Challenge. 006 light. 006. Is that little Theo out for... Is that Theo out? Is he? There he is. Theo's out there at the fence. 
He'll get his way over there. Look at that. Starting to walk, the little fella. Theo's just starting to walk, but he already knows how to drive a car. I think he was born knowing how to drive a car, shoot a gun. I think he can drive a car, shoot a gun. He just can't walk yet. <laughs> you know, kids, they just got that born into them. He'll walk later. <laughs> Dallas Kells and Stephen Smith. Smithy again. Can you have any more fun? Can you have any more fun? 7.23, lighten up greens. The PB running good numbers. 7.23 for Stephen. Dallas, 7.82 in the Matador. 177 in the 60 foot for the big Matador. Ah, the little weapon. There he is. Little, little Theo. G'day, mate. G'day. G'day, Theo. Hello, buddy. Hello. He can come up later if he wants. We had a bit of a crash going on up here. We've had the babies. We had the babies up here. Little Theo, what, <laughs> what world are you up for, brother? See, see that track out there? Yeah, see that track? Yes, you'll be running that track there, Theo. You'll be running that. And you'll have your own nickname by then. You've got Junga Bunga as your dad. I don't know, what you, how do you get a nickname for Theo yet? He'll grow into it. He'll grow into something, I'm sure. He'll probably get a bit of junior drags, like if, he, if he's to be raised like his dad was. He'll be getting a bit of juniors when he can. And, um, and then when he's right, you know, or you'll... You'll learn some track prep between there and getting his driver's license, and then you'll know how to track prep. Then he'll get his L's, and then next thing you know, he might be driving the hatchback. You don't know. But uh, you know what would be really cool if you could get the matching ice cream shirt for Theo, and it's like I'll I'll have the single scoop or I'll have the double scoop. You know, big big ice cream. Might just might just um, sum Junger up there, you know. It's soft, soft and creamy, soft and creamy. But uh, yeah, the little fella. You see them all the time. Seen generation of them. Seen it when when Maddie was, you know, was young. All of these guys, uh, all these these kids, these second generation uh, children growing up at the track. It's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad upbringing because uh, the kids I've seen grow up with the track have grown up all right, pretty good, upstanding and intelligent people. And um, one thing about hanging around cars, it teaches you really quickly. Yes, these cars, they do cost money. You've either got to be really good at working on cars or really good at something to earn you enough quid to get a car like this. You learn pretty quickly. You've, you've, um, you've got to have a certain degree of success in your life to get any car to treat you right you know what i mean um and when when it's done right like we see with all these people bringing their cars here and running good numbers and putting on good skids and expressing their freedoms everyone else gets a kick out of that so uh we all benefit from it if anything one thing that we all take home with us after this weekend not only memories but inspiration to uh to come and do this because it is that accessible and we were talking about that the other day, that uh, some of the people I met at uh, the earlier in the year, the, uh, the Street Machine Drag Challenge down there at the Bend, that we were having people coming into drag racing from nowhere. Not, not oh, I used to drag race, or I used to go to the drags as a kid, or that. It's, no, no, I, I saw drag and drive, and I saw how easy it was to just enter it, and it looked fun. And they were doing it for the first time ever. So drag racing for the first time ever and coming in through a drag and drive is a, it's the new entry level. It's the next level entry level where you don't have to go out and start any other way like juniors or anything like that or, or traditional street meet style stuff. You just come out and do a drag and drive because it looks like it's fun. That's the inspiration. People are inspired now to just come into this sport port, uh, point blank And do you reckon they felt like they were outsiders when they got in there? No, they just felt like everyone else. Because everyone else helps them. All right, Robert French back. Callum Fu, now he won best sleeper, but apparently he'd already gone to sleep. That was the joke. They played on me because I thought Callum had a big group of friends there. But you've got to say, 
It is a hell of a sleeper. If you, there's nothing really other than that this bit, right? So very innocent, doesn't make a lot of noise. Will carry on, but will go 7.28. That's sleeper for me. 7.28 at 96 mile an hour. Robert French, 9.98, lining up the uh, the blues as well. So just another call for, uh, if you want the merchandise, the Road Trip Drag Challenge merchandise, it's still down at the Addictive Events tent. Uh, but there is uh, limited sizes and colours left. Get down and chew some. Every flavour just about we've got. Janine Marshall's gone. Out she goes. Adam Potts trying to light the wick up on the little Cortina again. Once it goes, it goes. 10.45 for Janine. That's been the sweet spot. And these guys ain't done yet. So we should be into the last group, group four, the yellows. Group four, the yellows. We're being very specific that we, uh, we keep you in your groups. And then once we've had everyone run in their groups, wait for further instructions. Jeez, they both got plenty in store, don't they? Rowan Allen, that's in 719 at 106. And 760 for Mark Stone, that was the best for him. So we are into group four. Four different groups we've had through. 220 entrants over the last couple of days. The Absolute Lifting and Safety Road Trip Drag Challenge. Christmas edition, I guess you can call it. Summer edition. Roy Sheehan in the Valiant. Toby Howard in the Tirana. Real Street Cars. And Toby's thing really picked up then. 675, 675. And uh, Roy goes through 1104. So if you just joined us, welcome. Welcome to Warwick Dragway. I hope you found the admission prices acceptable. It's pretty easy to get your money's worth when you don't pay to get in. That's guaranteed. Probably the best show you'll get for the money. Some of Queensland's best cars. Jason Cross and Reese Car Keat. Jason with the clutch pedal in the Falcon, so he Rose through the gearbox. Reese Car Keat. This thing just hammers when he gets it hooked up. Little pedal on the right foot there. But Reese has got the HQ powering now. 766 at 95. And 901. 901 for Jason. A little walk off the line there for Reese. Just had to give it a walk. Craig Stokes in the Mustang. And a very casual Kenton McKay rolls up to the line. So we've still got plenty in the lane. So yellow, uh, yellow group should be in there, group four. Eight ten, eight ten for Stokes, eight eighty five for Kenton. Just trying to make sure everyone in each group's got an open opportunity to give a run. All right, Shari Scorpel behind the wheel of the Datsun twelve hundred Ute. This thing got a you know, especially in the hands of a couple of drivers last night. This little Dado is getting thrashed, swapped around and thrashed and. The clutch sidestepped and the gears jammed and just been copping all this abuse, this little dado. Murray Jackwitz, the VK Blue Mini. 772. And 1022 for Shari, the little dado.
Rob Fullerton in the Falcon, the Ute, uh, Matt Zeech. You can almost have a tray back. As he said, Ute class, but you can almost have a tray back class. But Ute, 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 plenty of them there. Mind you, Rob Fullerton, 186 in the 60 foot. It is booking so many seven second cars. 760, 787. Wall to wall quality. It's not like we give you a dozen. Not like we give you a couple of dozen. We give you 200. They just love this event. They just love the road trip. Luke Page in the last Falcon ever made. Tyson Howard at one tonner. Love that shape though. That is, a lot of people agree that's a pretty nice shape. Luke Page got the boosted barrel on board. Now he starts to wind it up. 7.63. 8-12, 8-12 there for Tyson in the tray back. And this is another treat as well. Every single car is a treat, but when you see this VNSS, it is a neat, neat ride. Driven by a, uh, a very determined lady, Emma Johnson. She'll drive this thing through the wheel spin. It always just gives a little bit of a spin, especially if she's on the sim and she's on the full lot. I think she started on Friday with a different set of tyres on the back. She's kind of back to full street mode if she's got the Simmons on the back. But that uh, that SS is just so well done. Could have been one of the showstoppers as well. Yeah, it just spins them out. Sort of drives through it. 8.73 at 78 mile an hour. 9.97 for Treen Bangay in the Commodore. 77 mile an hour. All right, Darren Parker in the HR. Amy Dull here in the Stato. Got the Dully's license plates on it, so Mrs. Dully's Grocery Getter. I think we said the Prime Minister that used to get driven around and that was John Howard, wasn't it? That was the John Howard limo of the day. Got the Australia tracksuit pants on in the back there, Johnny. Parliament House, thanks, Amy. Darren Parker, 769. 769. And Amy 1023 in the Luxo barge. Wouldn't go much quicker if we took the PM out. This is the one of the relics we were talking about, the, the VHSL of Benjamin Johnston. And we got uh, Leadfoot Sally Ann Hamilton in the utility. Mrs. Dangerous. Getting it in, trying to get into the seven second zone again. One eight four sixty foot. That seems to have worked really, really well off the hit, and a seven eighty five. So Nelly right down to its uh, where to go seven seventy, isn't it? So it's done a seven seventy. So seven eighty five. So there we go. She if she had kept the seven ninety dial in, she would have broken out. But that's still a good number nonetheless. 12.48 there for the VH. Tom Stevens now in his fair lane. Stephen Rule, another clutch pedal in the Holden Tirana. He's got big tall gears in this thing. It's got like three O's. It might have the three O eight in it. Um, she's got some good gears on it. 961 Cru cruise just just cruise amazingly though obviously so yes 863 beside for thomas stevens in his big fair lane hey the old skyline sounds the business
Nathan Turnbull in his R31. Dale Samuelson, the big statesman. At 7.49 there for Nathan Turnbull. Dale. No such luck. Okay, so that's the uh, final call for the yellows. Final call for the yellows. And now uh, the staging lanes are open. The staging lanes are open for all of our groups. If you want to uh, come down and have another run, you can just come down the lanes for a little while. Murray Johnston and Ryan Smythe. Taken a bit to get the uh, the big fair lane lit and rewarded with a 789 at 95 mile an hour. Murray Johnson 902 in the big state. Eh? Control your hose, will you, mate? Can, can you keep your hose under control there, mate? You're wetting the, wetting the people. Giving out free water, this boat. Giving out free water over here. He's I reckon he loved hosing his own lawn. I reckon he just loved squirting the old water around. Free showers. This guy's giving out free showers down here. I mean, he's got to keep the dust down. That's one thing, I suppose. That's one thing water's really good for, keeping the dust in. Jada Scorpel, Troy O'Hare. As we said, the lanes are open if you want. If you want to come and have a run. Now all of our entrants don't have to wait for the session now. Troy O'Hare. 187 in the 60 foot. That Falcon works so well. 783. And Jada now driving the Dado, the Scorpel family thrasher. 1061. All right, Stephen Stecker back in this Falcon. Troy Hewitt looking for more of that six-second love. Geez, that works well. One four four in the sixty foot. 166 again in the 60 foot for Troy Hewitt. This time he just gets right off it. 653 at 106. 642 for Stecker. 144 in the 60. 144 in the 60. 642. So the lanes are open to uh, all the groups. If you want to come and have another run, we'll have the track open. I know on our schedule it says here till till two. If we if we just stick the schedule off track at two. Oh, nice work, son. Zach Curley just about did everything perfect, including a 554, 129 mile an hour. He bumped it in, he did everything right, went 047 on the Pro Tree. Carla Barrett, 935. But that was everything there. Zach, I thought, Zach, just put it in the stage, don't need to do the bump. He then did the bump like an absolute pro. And then he went on an 047 light, 139 in the 60. That was everything that we love to see out of that car. All right, having a look at the back of Kurt Rowita's Mark 1. Junga's had a look at something.
all those years of clay target shooting makes you have a pretty sharp eye for things. Eagle eye. He's just spotted something there, whether or not it's continuing to drip or whether it had dripped. And so far, that's that's good news. Whatever it was, hasn't done it again. But he did notice something. He was right onto it. Another check over. And Kurt Rowita gets to get the Mustang in. They're both gorgeous cars. 168 in the 60 for the big wagon. Kurt Rowita, 654 at 108 mile an hour. So the track is open for any entrants that want to use it. the 650 shootout and the dial your own shootout last night kind of kept the runs down for everyone but now that the lanes are open uh, and you can have as many runs as you want now if you if you, we if we can get them that's if everyone keeps their stuff up you know what i mean so if you if you've got a late model car that you're using the air con on just stop using it please so it doesn't condensate so we don't see any drippage on the start line we sure do love to clamp down on anything dripping out of these cars. We just can't have that. So make sure your cars aren't dripping. Make sure there's no leaks or something that might just catch the attention of our track people. Because remember, you've, uh, they'll, they'll watch you like a hawk just to make sure that, uh, well, you're safe more than anything. It's not about the fun police. It's not the fun police. It's the safety police. So if we do see some drippage, we want to get onto it. And that unfortunately means that a lot of the time you would not be able to run the car. You have to get that cleaned up before you come back. So for all of our entrants that are there, they're going to have a couple more runs. Just make sure that uh, you don't drop anything down. So again, check catch cans and make sure they're empty. And if you've got a car that tends to get a bit hot, just keep an eye on your coolant recovery system, all that sort of stuff. So we don't want to drop any more stuff down. It does drop our run rate down a bit. And we don't want to do that. So it's still all of these categories crunching the numbers to try and, you know, when people hand their time slips in, they, that's their way of clocking off for the event. A few people have handed theirs in and hit the road, getting back to uh, wherever they've come from. And we've had people from, you know, as far as Mackay and beyond to be a part of this. So it's been a, uh, it's been one for the books. It's been a good year for uh, road trip drag challenges. And uh, how fitting to actually finish with one here at Warwick Dragway fresh off the reopen and uh, back into full practice which is let's tend tend and mend for three days this uh, this great surface feed the masses as well uh, and um, welcome you all again it's just one of those places that feels like home when you turn up because you know that you're uh, you're all part of the uh, the larger family but when you do come to places like this that's the uh, that's the happy place any racetrack and it's so good to have you know morgan park over the road here as well and i mean there's a lot of people that are supporting motorsports in every level but i do think the only way that you'll see any increase in motorsport numbers is through recreational motorsport professional motorsports well that's another level of people altogether. we're talking about you know our, pretty much our working class folk the masses 
especially this form of the sport, you can just basically build something, turn up and compete and um, be part of a good competition amongst um, a great group of similar-minded people. And when the bug bites, well, that's good. Welcome. <laughs> so, re yeah, recreational motorsport done by professionals. That's what we were talking about last night. Is that, you know, we've got a lot of people here in our... Like, if we were to give you the list of occupations of the 220 people that have brought their cars here to run, I mean, you could build a city. You, you pretty much build a whole civilization. They, these are... Uh, professionals in mainly, well, a lot of them well, I know, I mean, in construction, in the building game, excavators, concreters, sparkies, haven't met any other plumbers. I'm sure there's some plumbers amongst the group. I'll need that. Mick will be able to tell us which ones are those. Um, but yeah, all through the auto game, yeah, mechanics, engineers, trimmers, painters, engine builders, um, the occupations are uh, you know these are all professions so recreational motorsport driven by professionals ain't professional motorsport but it, the uh, the level of preparation is up there with 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 pro teams pretty much these things are pretty well put together for uh, toys <laughs> let's face it that's kind of what they can be but just the opportunities to use them I mean to do it this way with Road Trip Drag Challenge, but any other day if you wanted to go to, you know, Joe's Diner or anywhere else, Cars and Coffee, Happy Laps, Lakeside, Corralbin, we've got tons of places in Queensland you can enjoy your uh, creations or just a cruise. And the number of cars in workshops at the moment with more than two seats for that reason, they want a back seat, they want to put a couple of extra people in it, they want to put the family in it, these are the cars getting built in a lot of workshops around the country. Because let's face it, how can you go for a leisurely cruise, get noticed, and, um, and everyone think you're cool if you're driving a Lambo? Yes, yeah, some people think you're cool driving a Lambo, but you can't take the whole family around. But you can in some really cool gear. Like we're seeing in the lanes here. I was talking to Carl Cox earlier this year. Uh international DJ of course and um, I mean the older Carl gets the more famous he becomes he's uh, you know he's an OG DJ from the 80s that um, worldwide in the uh, electronic dance music scene is is world famous um, he sponsors a car in TCR even like last weekend I was watching some of the, the TCR stuff around Bathurst there and there Carl Cox has actually got a car in that and they actually had him waving the checkered flag at the end of the race he sponsors, you know, super bikes and, and sidecars and, of course, he's a drag racing tragic, of course. It's nice that a world-famous DJ who's an absolute rev head, loves his motorbikes, loves his circuit racing, loves his hill climb. But what does Carl have the most of in his shed? Stuff you can put down the drag strip. A pro mod, a radial car. He's got an eight-second drag and drive car. Um, when that wasn't ready, I think he said he hurt he hurt the motor testing a couple of weeks earlier. He'd run like low eights, and he had to bring his Alan Moffat replica Mustang out, and he drove the Alan Moffat mu uh, replica for the week. And I said, "Oh, would you prefer to do it with the Creature Comforts?" Or he goes, "No." He said he built this, you know, Premier HK Premier. He goes, "Nothing." I said, "It's all about doing it with some something cool and old school that's got you know thousand to the tyres." So that's Carl's lifestyle choice. And that certainly exaggerates the recreational motorsport done by professionals. Mantra that we're talking about. Don't get any more professional than a world famous DJ that every time he puts something you know, up on Insta, it's tens of thousands of likes. I mean, he's almost as famous as Scooter March, Carl Cox. Scooter goes bear in the big pickup, 8.34. And uh, Kelvin Addison, we're into these extra runs now because these names are popping up again real quick. And yes, maybe the odd skid might get a bit bigger. All right, Xander Taborski's back. 
I think they might have loaded Xander up with the nitrous again. Rowan Allen beside in the Centura. Cranky, cranky little Centura. Does love the hassle the tyre still, that Centura. 697, 697 for Rowan. Into the sixes. Xander Taborski, 737. So they ain't done yet. David Mott. That's a car that certainly makes an impact when you see it. All the right bumps and bruises. Beth Mansfield French. Been stepping this car up for years. Yeah, they threw a little bit at it. 689 with the pedal, 689 at 112. 806 at 88 mile an hour. Cop that, boys. Cop that. <laughs> Those boys are in the wrong spot at the wrong time when old Pepe, Pepe Loco, Scott Clibborn comes in beside him. Janine Marshall in the big fairway. Yes! That was the best launch so far for Clibborn. It came out 156 in the 60 foot and 694 for his troubles. Just looked better on the line. Looked, that's the perfect launch. The perfect launch, 156 in the 60, came out, didn't bog down, didn't carry on, it came out neat. All right. Clutch pedals forever. Danielle Brady. If I ever saw Danielle drive an auto after that, I'd, I'd, I'd go after her a bit. I'd, I'd, I'd give her a bit of a ribbing to say, what do you mean? No clutch pedal anymore. She's like... I'm going to call a little Miss Stick shift for the while. Oh, yeah, there's the wheel. That was the wheel up, 169 in the 60 foot. Would have been good to get a photo of that one. Peter Fenton, Peter Fenton, 662. That's better for the Salika, but, yeah, 748 for Danielle. Yeah, there was the wheel up. Where, where, did you get a photo? Did you, you filmed it? Yeah, it was a good one. They're their own little excitement group, the Stick shift people. Oh yeah, here he is. I'll call him Pepe, Pepe Loco. Ryan Feakin. Six second stick shift, 13B rotary powered bullet roadster. Ben Taylor, saw a little sniff of nitrous come off the, uh, looks like judging by the plates, LSEJ. One six two in the sixty foot. So Scotty went one five six. Here we go though. He's got power seven oh two at ninety nine mile an hour. So that's the difference between a seven and a six. I recognise that bus anywhere. So farewell to uh, farewell to Tanya and Craig. I think the, the big bus is heading out. The Commodore was a little bit easier to load last night because it was a bit narrower. But um, she was hanging around there, uh, the presentations there for a bit, Tanya. So sort of uh, not phased or shocked in any way from the massive, massive moments that she's had with the car and they'll re rebuild like normal. Tyson Howard, 808 out there, still enjoying it. Roy Sheehan, 1101, but farewell to Tanya and Craig as they, uh, as they leave Morgan Park and, uh, and Warwick Dragway. Take the, uh, take the bus down the range. Well, back to Kingston, I think, as we say last night, Tomo. All right, Steve Smith, Dylan Murdoch. Oh, still reacts. He didn't even guess that. That was an 070. I mean, it's no 006, but 070 for Stephen Smith. Still doing it. 809 for Dylan. Okay, watch out. Gunshot warning. Gunshot warning. Might be a bit of pop here from the Gemini.
Not as big as we had it before. All right, Shara Hoskin in the Gemini. Ben Woods. I mean, that's the whittle. That's a whittle wagon. That one. It's that's a long roof. A little long roof. <laughs> She's got the old uh, six eighty one at one oh eight mile an hour. The Yokoshima family special. Six eighty one at one oh eight. Oh, that man knows how to do a burnout. Stephen Inglis controlled every facet of that burnout. You saw him just making little steering corrections as he's lighted it up. He knew what he was doing. Licence plate unsafe. And Dean Wilson, geez. We had that yellow EK here last night with the LSA. I saw him towing out there before. It's a shame not to have seen those two guys have a little match race. FE EK. Tough early Holdens. Good for both guys. Look at them disappear. Quick street cars. 656, 661. Impressive stuff. Both 108 down the end. 108 mile an hour, both sides of the racetrack. 162 in the 60 for the Ute. All right, Ben Roberts is back. Run, girls, run. What are you, the girls are just running up the hill. That's the, <laughs> didn't know there was a, a running race on here today. Sprinting up the, Ben Roberts, Sally Ann Hamilton, so Sammy, uh, Sally mashes the, uh, the pedal down. 6.73 for Ben Roberts, 7.96 there for Sally. Seven ninety six and ninety and six seventy three there for Ben Roberts. Oh yeah, look at this. Stock VH Commodore. VH Commodore with factory options. Well, aftermarket options, not factory. Holden's Holden wasn't really thinking turbos too much back then. Yes, there was some strata turbo kit stuff starting to happen on the six cylinders. But Shane Baker's never Done anything more than go Holden V8. He's got the, the iron line on board and let's just see what he can do right now. Warwick Local, of course. Chains, boats and bikes. Cars, boats and bikes. Oh, not bad. Dangles the wheel a little bit. 133 in the 60 foot. Good number coming up. Oh, 521. 521 for Bakes. 138 mile an hour. 521, 138. 133 in the 60. He did uh, he did hang the wheels up there a little bit there because we saw the the left hand front sort of slow down as he launched. Sort of for a moment there it sort of stopped turning and then put it back on the ground and off he went. Thomas Stevens and Jake Carsberg. Jake looking for some more 770 stuff. 181 in the 60 foot for Jake and oh, 765 for Jake. 765. All right, that was Jake. That was son, his father. Chris Carsberg in the water with his Tirana. Plenty of 
father and son and father and daughter uh, participation in this event and it is so good to see next generation having a go all right nathan turnbull back with his skyline chris carsberg two conservative yeah two thousand horsepower probably at the disposal here for the tirana but he's got to be careful how he uses it because it's got plenty whoop 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 he doesn't mind giving it a cent like a hundred and with the pedal, with the pedal, 697, 126, 126 mile an hour. 697 at 126, but just can't tone that thing down enough. All right. He was Mr. Holshot last night, Billy Bartland, but he's been upstage today when we looked at um, Steve Smith. Jerry Keane. All right, want some more wheelie out of Jerry. Let's have a look at that front of that Tirana this time. Let's see how long he can dangle for. Yep, yep, nice, up to 60 foot. 149, just dropping the tyre down. 664 at 103, 678 for Billy so yeah gets the dangle up so a little Theo in there getting a bit toey he's getting a bit toey is he Getting, he's at that squirmy, he's in that squirmy stage right now. He's going through the squirm. I've, I've seen him in squirmy mode. Hello, mate. Hello. Hello, Theo. G'day, mate. There he is. Yeah, he's pumped. He's pumped. All right, Reese Carkeet. Just off the line here. Yeah, it just blows the tyres off it. It's got a tendency to do that because it's got a lot under the right foot it's got a lot of power there and he's just rides it through 820 at 94 mile an hour 820 at 94 <laughs> Matthew Maloney ain't done neither has Dale Samuelson Matt Camaro's got some. Brings the power on, yeah, 666 with a nine. And eight, uh, 858 for Dale. Good match up here. Alfred in the uh, in the Falcon, Burnett in the far lane. If he hooks that wagon up, it is low sevens. He got that uh, got that out one seven seven in the sixty, and yes, yeah, seven oh four, seven oh four. That is one. Tough wagon, 9.22 for Tim Elford is a PB for today. Here's the other Burnett, Jason. And uh, Neville French, can't wear the old fair lane out. Just did them differently in the 80s, didn't they? Just. A lot of two-tone, that real sort of sixth window, the opera glass sort of limo style. Jason Burnout, 186 in the 60 foot. 
at 7.99 at 87 mile an hour. All right, Jarter's got the keys this time in the Dado. Nev, uh, sorry, Gary Brett beside. Ten twenty-five for Jada Gary Buddha seven nineteen. Oh yeah, good healthy Aspo horsepower both sides of the racetrack here. Could have been a showroom battle. Been through a couple of rockers this weekend, this car. Oh yes, 145 of the 60 foot. 574 for Steve. 574 and a 671 for Steve Stecker. Steve and Steve. As a Steve and Steve matchup. All right, Marek Scorpel and Sean Deegan in the Tirana. There's still plenty in the lanes, they're not done yet. Sean Deegan not done yet either. 7.42 for him. Marek Scorpel lighting up a PB of 7.82. Johnny Oliver's not done yet either. Mrs. Dully in the Stato. Johnny Oliver. Doesn't mind giving it a buzz, does he, Johnny? Got up and got gone. 6.63 at 98. And Amy, 10.39. Hasn't he got himself a real excitement machine here, John Vesnava? Boosted V8, you can hear it. The HR Utility's got plenty. Whoa. There's, pl there's plenty on board there. Plenty on board there. 627 with a huge pedal. 129 mile an hour out the back, 129 out the back. Joshua Buchanow and Adam Potts. So there I just saw, uh, just saw the Hoff panel van leaving there. So farewell to the Hoff. Leaves with a new mark at 502 at uh, Road Trip Drag Challenge Mark, 502 is where it's at. Let's see when we next meet. 
where the four second mark, when does it go? Over the 660. All right, Joshua Booker getting the boost up. Adam Potts, that's been his problem all weekend. Just doesn't leave with any boost. Walks it out, 8.45. Gets through there all right. Joshua Booker, 6.57. And then if you want a little bit more excitement, you add a clutch pedal. And that's what he's got in there. Jason Martin, you can hear that. Sort of a turbo V8 stick shift. Tony Carkeet, tough as nails, EH. It's a beast. Car Keat, 179 in the 60 for the EH. 799 at 81. 764 there for Jason Martin, lighting up a PB for him. So getting that stick shift sorted all the way to the end. Here's Scooter and Terry. Scooter. Too much fun. Too much fun. 168 and 60. Doesn't the big uh, wagon get out of the hole? 168 and the 60. That's that big 557Q big block Ford. 738 at 91 mile an hour. Scooter goes 844. All right, Indy Grayson back in the Commodore. Rick Smoothie, that 55 Chev. Ain't done yet either. Whoop, whoop, big gulp. Took a big gulp. Wasn't happy after the launch. Indy out and gone. Trouble, 993 for Rick. Not his best. 885 though for Indy looks like that's a step up. Still get a PB on your last run. Oh, sounds the sounds healthy, does it not? I wonder what size that motor is in that uh, in that little Cortina of Brian Heffler's. Sounds the stuff. Healthy lungs. Yeah, it's got plenty. 7.29 at 99 mile an hour. All right, Mia Armstrong back in the seat. We got any nitrous left in the work you? Like I know everyone's been into the nitrous. Leave it up for Mia. And Tony Rogers. Best thing about turbo cars, you never run out of nitrous because you don't use it. It's the one thing, bad thing about nitrous is that you can run out of nitrous. But you can, mind you, turbo guys will say that you can run out of turbo. Oh, I'm out of turbo, mate. I'm out of turbo. So they put a bigger one on, and the boost goes up another five percent. Me up just wants to uh, get that thing in that low seven second zone. 188 and 60 foot, 179 for Tony Rogers. Coming down to the stripe, 749 at 99 and a 734 there for Tony. He's back for another crack. I reckon pound for pound, we're seeing better. Not, not that I'm bagging the presentation of our street machine drag challenge competitors from a couple of weeks ago down in South Australia. But pound for pound, we're seeing just as immaculate, if not slightly more widespread paint, especially paint, paint with this group. 
I'm not saying overall better paint, but more cars with good paint on it, you know what I mean? Had a little carry on there, David Mott. That's going to eat into the ET. 681 at 111. And that's not bagging anyone. That's just saying we've got more. I reckon more cars in this 200 where you just go, you look at the paint and you go, wow, show car stuff, you know? So we're, we're seeing a lot more show car quality stuff. I mean, we got it. We got it at every level in this country. In fact, a, uh, an expat Aussie that went to America 30 years ago, Gary Bergen, pretty big, went to the cutting edge of everything in the United States when it came to drag racing. It's back in South Australia living, and he said, even looking through the pits of the Drag Challenge comp uh, competitors down there at the bend, he goes, I cannot believe the quality of car that we're putting out here in Australia. He goes, it's mind-blowing. He says, better than a lot of places in the States. I said, well, you know, he'd been over in America 30 years. I said, where the bloody hell are you? Uh, where the bloody hell are you? He's over here now. He didn't even know what a Bradbury was. He was away from him in America for so long. I had to explain to him what a Bradbury was. Yes, the Empire is the. Here we go. Good little stick shift matchup. Now, got the wheels up last time, Danielle. Ryan Feekin, he's going to give it all. Going to be a lot of popping out here, these two little pocket rockets. a little bit there by Ryan Feek in 709. Danielle goes through the gears, got the launch 180. Yes, yeah, 715. Jeez, there'll be a six out of that thing next run. If it, if it can couple the launch before, which was, what was the 60? It was like a one, it was a pretty good 60. Carried the wheel out and everything. She just gets that little little start line thing like she did last time, and that's a six. Ryan Feek in 709. 160 in the 60. That's kind of where you got to be kind of where you got to be that sort of one six something 60 she was like a one eight then here he is mr absolute lifting in safety again stephen smith the hq ben taylor the winner of the showstopper award last night there we go his worst reaction time of the uh, weekend, Stephen Smith, six seconds. 7.27, though, at 95 mile an hour, adding to the time slips. All right, so we're going to go a little bit of track prep after this. Just to uh, yeah, give some of the other cars... Bit more, a uh, bit more sticky if they want it. Ryan Smythe and Ben Wood. The big fairway and the big crown disappearing into the wilderness. Eight double O at 94 mile an hour. 684 at 109. So we're just going to do a little bit of prep just for a sec, and we've still got cars in the lanes. So uh, we are just doing a little bit of that. We've got still plenty to go. We are scheduled to go until 2. So just a little bit of prep. And um, grab that merch while you can, folks. That, that uh, Road Trip Drag Challenge merch. Variety of different colours and flavours. Get down and uh, and grab some.
Oh, we're back after a bit of prep. Guys have got it uh, prim and proper. We've still got a nice uh, nice bunch in the staging lanes. So if you want another run, get to the lanes so we can see how many we got left. We might end up we might end up calling it early yet, who knows? Yeah, just blows the old tyres off Troy Hewitt. 7.59, 6.52 there for Peter Fenden. He does improve. Oh, they're not done yet. All right. Sally Ann on the line. Dean. 2J powered EKU. That's a good run for that U. That is so impressive. 6.53. 6.53. That's looks like a best number for Dean Wilson, both mile an hour and speed. Sally Ann, 7.95. Now she's got a bunch of seven second slips. Ben Roberts something in the sixes again, and you would imagine Maloney trying to push this thing even deeper into the sixes. That works a treat. He's off the throttle again. Big pop of flame out of uh, Ben Roberts. Maybe I'm no expert, but maybe got a little fuel pump going away there or something. He's had the odd little issue with it. I don't know, it just had a big pop near the finish line. Huge flame out the back of it. Shari Scorpel's turn to take the Dado out. Luke Page. Up, gone. Luke Page just taking a bit to get the boost up. 792. He just wants another hit here, Steve Carkeet. Comes crew chief dangerous. Jason Burnett, Steve Carkeet.
Let's hear this big block sing again. That's a good one, 566, 566, 125 mile an hour. And uh, 802 for Jason Burnett. All right, here we go. The Carsberg boys together. So uh, Jake and Chris. Jake and Chris out there together. Father, son. It initially started as a six-cylinder Tirana. Jake's gone to the V8. Chris, of course, is twin turbo LS and wild. That's a little bit better. 146 in the 60 foot. Softens it up somewhat. 546, 133 mile an hour. 546 at 133. That is no slouch. 768 for Jake continues to improve continues to improve Neil Ross and Neville French one eight two in the sixty foot for Neil Ross eight double oh eighty seven mile an hour All right. Stephen Stecker back with Terry Mansfield French. Goes uh, 158 the 60 foot to 165 and a 667, 667. 667, 103 mile an hour, 158 in the 60 foot. Scotty looking for another good launch out of this Corolla. Mm. That's all left leg. Tony Carkeet beside him. One seven seven in the sixty foot. One seven six for Car Keat, and a seven oh eight at one oh three. Seven ninety three there for Tony. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a big block or something. This thing. This this has got plenty of horsepower. Brendan Burnett. It's no Vita Beetle. Whichever Burnett that is, could be Brendan. Remember? 168 and the 60 foot for the wagon. And a 696. 696. Into the sixes. They'd already run a best of a 698. They'd already run a best of a 698. Tony Rogers. Scooter March. Remember, if you're done, hand your time slips in, obviously. We know how many are left. Scooter off and gone. 8.52 for him. Just about got every eight second time slip you can get. That's what happens, you get a bunch of runs in. It just does it so good. Another potent little Ford product. Brian Heffler and Janine. These fair lanes just don't die. Fair lanes just keep coming. Ah, oh, it works well, Brian. 7.15. 7.15 at 99. Janine, she gets there. 10.60. All right. 
Steve Smith back. And uh, Danielle. See if she can get this perfect launch right. Put a wheel spin that time. Smithy, you all right? He's all right now. Going for slowest reaction time. 792 for Danielle and Smithy 721 improves again. I I don't know whether we could reward you for such a reaction time. Top by six, that's a that's a time slip to keep that one. Danielle Brady gone, Stephen Smith gone, it's now Ben Taylor and John Oliver. One for nine in the 60. That's going to be 640 something there, you would think. 648. 648, Ben Taylor. 707. So they're improving still this late into the day. Dylan Murdoch back. Hasn't had enough. Reese hasn't had enough. Just looking for a place to stage. This thing's always been towy on the back tyres. Let's just see if it hooks up here, from whether or not Reese uses a little less right foot. There you go, walks it out. 186 in the 60 foot. Yes, yeah, 746, 746. Oh, loving it, Joshua Booker. And um, Maloney wants to hook this thing up. Just sings him, just sings him. Oops. One nine four in the 60 foot for Booker. 7.33. All right, Terry Mansfield French. Tony Carr Keat. Just having a quick check. Take him back a bit, Tone. Here he is. He's the little junior. G'day, Theo. Hello, buddy. High five, buddy. Yay. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's all right, mate. Little Theo up here. Couldn't, re couldn't recognise him with his disguise on. He's in disguise. He just he just needs his little mini Junga mullet, which he'll grow eventually. Once his hair grows out, he'll have his little Junga mullet. G'day, buddy. Hello. Hello, Theo. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Hello, buddy. What's this little foot? What's that little foot? What's that little foot? What's that little foot there? Hey, that little foot. Stephen Stacker, Shari Scorpel. They've been thrashing that little Dado all weekend. 684 at 107 there for Stecker. Wearing that Falcon out. There he is, little fella. Unless you enclose the whole front area there, Junger, put walls on it and then have a swing door like a butcher shop and then just keep it all air caught in the middle. No one had come out of it. <laughs> no. Dan Samuelson and Beth Mansfield French. Still got a few wanting to come down the lanes here. 7.99 for Beth. 
There we go. It said before there, an 809. So there's a 799. And here's Bakes here. He's uh, he's still got a little bit of unfinished business to do here. He's trying. Sound a bit of LSA down here, a bit of blower then maybe. Maybe that's what's in the Burnett wagon. A bit of, maybe a bit of LSA. Just It's the gift that keeps on giving. Bakes, all he needs is the, uh, the 355 Holden V8. And, uh, yeah, let's let's just see every run. You just, Bakes will try stuff. It'll work or it won't. It's a... Whoa, just breaks it loose about 60 out. Went 145 in the 60, it was coming out. It's just that uh, transition to bigger power. Just cut it loose. He'd rather be steering something, that's what it is. He'd rather be steering. Give that kid a steering wheel. That's what he wants. He wants a steering wheel. Janine Marshall, Shane March. There we are, buddy. Did you get up early today, did you? Did you get up early? Did he? Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, she's flung that out the window. Th throwing the junger cart around. <laughs> There you go, Theo. Yeah, heat stroke. Go back and get some of that heat stroke there, Junger. See you, Theo. See you, little fella. Bill Martland's still not done. Or is he? Billy's gone. 10, 6, 79. Yeah. They're having too much fun, this group. Too much fun. Any, any day at a racetrack's a bit of fun. Some of Queensland's best street cars you've seen over the last couple of days. Listen to that thing. 163, 60 foot for Oliver, 661. Here goes Steve Smith, 735. And now it's starting to do the hot laps. The hot laps are kicking in. Tony Carr Keat, Joshua Brooker, just keep coming round. Terry Mansfield French back. Burnett back, Baker back, Carr Keat back. quite that time for Josh. I think it'll reflect. Oh, look, 7.11's not bad. 110's his best mile an hour by the look of that. Yeah, just sit there for a bit. Tony Carkeet, a whole bunch of seven-second times for him. Terry back. Dale Samuelson. Yeah, I'm amazed just how quick this big wagon, 60 foots, One, two, what? No, what? I'm stunned even at one, two, six. It says there, one, two, six, 60 foot. He must have rolled through or done something there. Cheated the old 60 footers a little bit. No way that thing went one, two, six. All right, Bakes, not a lot of burnout that side of the track. He's of the theory that what he's tried before, he'll try again, but swap lanes. Yeah, he's just straight back around. This is the nature of, I mean, this is a seven-second quarter-mile streetcar, folks. 
He's just hot lapping this thing around. It's got plenty of horsepower. Whoa, it just it went a little further that time. It went one three four in the sixty foot before it broke loose. One three four in the sixty foot. Mm, mm, mm. One three four sixty foot and then it broke loose. All right, we got a bit of HQ and Venetian blind investment here. All in the one run. Reese Car Keat, gonna walk it out. Brendan Burnett, good race this one. Look at that, Australia. Take your HQs down the track, 760, 730. Or like HZ, I think, on the, uh, on the wagon. And Scooter the same. Pick up trucks, different types. Okay, there we go. So, um, final call to the lanes. If you want to get in the lanes, you got five minutes, five minutes. If you want another run, if you want another run, five minutes, five minutes. Geez, I could go some chips and gravy now that I've seen them. Five, no, well, no, we'll have a sample. It's only going to make me want to go grab some. Mm. Oh, yeah. I want that. I want that. Um, five minutes to the lanes, folks. Five minutes. Five minutes. This week just looks like natural progression. There'll be a chip and gravy break for a bit. So uh, Johnny Oliver, 6.67, Janine Marshall, 10.54. So five minutes, five minutes. If you want another run, five minutes. We're, uh, we're up a bit on the schedule because we thought we have a ton of them wanting to run all the way into Sunday afternoon. But, you know, it is Sunday and people are starting to think about heading home. So five minutes. That's better, 1.64 there for Terry. Steve 170. Look at that, Terry PB 725, 725 at 94 mile an hour. So five minutes, five minutes. If you want to get into the lanes, five minutes. We've decided instead of hanging around till two o'clock, if there's no one in the lanes, we figure you want to do all your runs now and get them out. So five minutes. We'll run out what's in the lanes. So five minutes. If everyone's had their runs by the look of it. And it ain't so bad, ain't so bad. I know that sometimes when we're sharing vehicles that everyone might still want to run each. But uh, yeah, we're at that stage, five minutes, five minutes. And then um, we'll be looking at the lanes and see if we can wrap them up get into our uh, our presentations and our thank yous and see yous laters but we've still got a few wanting to come up there we go once you put the little deadline on them five minutes five minutes if you want to come to the lanes four minutes i could say five minutes for the next 10 minutes if we still see people coming down we might as well give everyone another shot Just make your way to the lanes as soon as you can. Is that what he wants, is it? He wants to try and hit the 820. All right, Scoot. Dal uh, Samuelson, the big state out. So Scooter probably won't get that 820 he was looking for there. 782 is what he gets, but we did see Dale, I think, or someone roll the beams. (laughs) 
She doesn't mind tearing the tyres up, does she, Emma? So uh, five minutes, five minutes to get to the lanes, five minutes. Johnny Oliver, not done. He gives that a fair old thrash and Johnny Oliver. Look at that, 6.508. That's, that's our 6.50 winner from Friday. It's our 650 winner from Friday. Now that's the lifestyle choice right there. Check out the uh, the Armstrong family, the way they roll. That's the way to roll. That's the way to roll. That's lifestyle. That's living. Where's BCF? That's living. Terry Mansfield, French, Stephen Smith still wearing them out. Beth's coming back for another run. If you want another run, five minutes. There goes the other Armstrong car, the big convoy. That's a trip away, isn't it? Another go there for Jason Bowers. The old ice cream truck doing all right. Oh, it's got the annex out today. The ice cube, the ice cream truck towing as well, would be a good setup. Print media and ice cream. Trouble is, is the the Commodore starts to get slower because we're eating more we're eating more ice cream. Oh, Jason Bauer, six fifty seven. Beth Bansfield French, back into the eights, eight one three. All right, if you want to have another run, you better get to the lanes, five minutes. You want another one, it's nearly the final call for it. Yep, final call. It's not a bad run for Scooter. Let's have a look, eight, 48. All right, so just coming to the end of our three-day odyssey here, the Addictive Events Absolute Lifting and Safety Road Trip Drag Challenge. <laughs> 220 vehicles here Friday, yesterday, and uh, not as many now as we're all heading home. Big three days of action. 778 for Dylan Murdoch, lighting up a PB. 873 for Dale Samuelson. And the big, uh, the Mitsuhiko family wagon is leaving. Mitsuhiro, so. Jake Carsberg and Steve Smith. So last call if you want another run. Last call if you want another run. Jake Carsberg, Stephen Smith. So, last call if you want another run. We've had 220 entrants over three days. All have a good few runs every day. Done the, uh, had to go and do the, the checkpoint Friday and yesterday. All right, final call for the lanes, final call for the lanes. That is it. If you've just snuck down, you're lucky, but we're very close to closing the lanes because we've run everyone out over three days. 
A lot of guys have voted at their feet and have towed home, which is understandable. They've been normally, some of them, here since Thursday. 7.35 at 86 mile an hour for Terry. And Emma, 8.69 at 79 mile an hour. All right, last call, last call. The lanes, if you're rolling, the lanes are closed. The lanes are closed. The lanes are closed, so whatever we've got left there. Look, Johnny Oliver's put himself back in the lane, so I'd say we're going to get Johnny a go. But uh, we've just about run them. So that's just about wrapping us up. Johnny wouldn't have put his car there unless he wanted to have another run. It's just, it's just, he's dropping his slip in, is he? Okay, there we go. Uh, you know, I wouldn't, it was a fifth, it was like a 5 0 or something, though. Like the run was like a 5 0, but that's it. The lanes, that it. The lanes are done. The lanes are done. Are we all in? Are we all done? Looks like we're done. Looks like we're done. So we have got some awards to give out for all of the uh, all the categories so keep your um, keep your ears peeled in regards to uh, the starting time of that I know that schedule wise we are way ahead but we've had a whole bunch leave because they've got their runs and don't forget this live stream at all happening next weekend the Jungle Bunga no prep cash days here at Warwick Dragway gates open from 10 test hits from four till five and then five till ten is the racing the overtaking lane live stream will be all over that like they have the last three days here as far as the uh, absolute lifting and safety road trip drag challenge of course addictive events certainly they certainly are 220 entries wanting to be a part of it traveling from all over the state to be here and you can see a few more of them packing up and hitching up and heading home but We've still got awards to do, so keep your ears peeled for that. Do a bit of packing up if you have to, and if you know you're in the mix, well, stick by because uh, we've got to do all that um, before we head off. So but thanks very much for coming. The canteen will probably open for a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna go down and get them chips and gravy, by the way. I'm going to go down and do that. So we'll be doing that and uh, awards uh, presentation and some drinks coming up shortly.